dressageclinic.com. A world of knowledge at your fingertips. Super. It's one of the best overall transitions you can do. Taryn knows that has been around long enough. Um, we do a ton of track canter transitions with the horses to just help really get them, especially early in the ride, in the warm-up, uh, kind of that, that just getting them into that working in phase. The track canners are just one of the most beneficial things to get your horses just kind of pushed through, your half halt working, the reaction to your leg good, that back lifting up and all of that. So it's a good place to start with her. And now I'm really starting to like this frame more where she's definitely coming up that last inch, the hind leg starting to power up, the forehand starting to climb a little bit more into the air and lift both in the trot and canter. Good, that looks super turn. I think where they're still in, the, the, the canter on the long side, they're just a touch more shoulder in like. So they really are pushing within that engagement that you need in the canter and in the trot of her coming under that within the canter specific, you're really saying this inside hind leg needs to stay right up underneath you. Good. It's another horse too where in the canter work can get a little bit bouncing crew pie sometimes. And probably in all the work that she does, the two biggest things she struggles with through the work is a little bit the piaf work and the parallel work, both for the same reasons. Um, again, kind of like the, the, the horse Thomas I wrote on one of the other videos, um, where she wants in the canter to bounce a little bit up instead of really sit down and come under. Uh, same goes for that. The half steps, it's a horse that is not necessarily built to sit and in terms of the collection so a lot of the work with her we really we, we really put kind of quiet high pressure on that hind leg to come under and the croup to go down good that trot's getting way better Taryn so we want to think a lot with her too as she's working where because she's a type that can't always get the croup down to sit she's a type where we think very often about getting the forehand to lift, to create the same uphill balance feeling in, in terms of the collection, but to really challenge it and encourage it into her body in a way for her that's easier to understand, which is to float up into the air off the ground through her forehand versus to sit heavy, hard down and bend those hind leg joints. The, the, the bending and the sitting happens almost as a byproduct from that lifting up through the forehand. So that's where when we just started with her right at the beginning, I was asking her to, to ride her just a touch more up through the frame and to think through her whole forehand that she starts to get a little bit more lift like that. And what you end up with, that looks super turn on the short side. What you end up with as that, that forehand starts to lift like that is just the weight of the body tends to slowly start to rock back anyway onto the hind leg. So very good. 